Austin, when dealing with an OE ball joint, what the, what's the difference between a TTX ball joint and an OE ball joint for a Jeep? Yeah, so for a lot of vehicles, and this Jeep included, um, the TTX ball joint includes many upgrades. So the first one is the TTX ball joint is knurled uh, in the pressing surface. So that helps the ball joint uh, stay in the arm or the knuckle or whatever it may be, because as you press those in and out, uh, you know, the knuckle can be, can get worn. And then of course our patented centered metal bearing um, that is longer lasting than the OE plastic design. It also includes a repel tech coating that's going to prevent it from rusting or any other corrosion on the outside. It also has a silver anti-corrosion coating on the pin uh, and in the hardware, so you can not have to worry about that as well. We have the boot on the TTX is thicker as well. Uh, it's integrated on this model, the Jeep. It's integrated into the body of the ball joints. So it, can, it cannot leave the ball joint. It's all one piece. And then um, it, the TTX ball joint comes with grade 12 hardware and then uh, it's also greasable, which the OE is not greasable as well. So those are the main advantages over the typical OE ball joint. Now with, with stopping debris going in from the bottom of the boot, does TTX offer something where it stops it from going in around the stud? Yeah, so we also have the multi-lift design on the boot uh, top, which keeps contaminants out by uh, getting around the ball joint pin tightly. And then it also has a grease relief valve, so every time you service the ball joint, which our ball joints are serviceable, the grease can come out or, you know, if in any case, if you accidentally hit it with a pneumatic grease gun and you put too much in, you're not going to burst the boot. So, right. You mentioned the cintered metal technology. Yes, yes. What is that? So the cintered metal technology is basically a powdered metal that is put through the manufacturing process to create a very durable bearing material at the bottom of the ball joint. So it's the material the ball joints, the ball sits on inside the ball joint. And the OE version, as you notice, is plastic. And it's just the ball joint housing with a piece of plastic in there and your ball joint just hits that all day and it's bound to wear out quickly, right? So the TTX takes that a step further by creating an actual bearing material. And that's proven to last much longer. Uh, it can take more load, more force, and just more durability overall. They have a grease fitting already included in the box, are greasable, and so you can hit that um, after you come back from a long day on the trails or wherever else. You can always replenish the grease and it inside the ball joint, so it lasts longer for you. So Austin, when I go to the store and I buy this ball joint and I have that box and I open up the box, what am I finding inside the box when I buy a Melotech TTX ball joint? Yeah, so inside the box, you're gonna get quality packaging so the ball joint doesn't get damaged during shipment. Um, and so you have obviously the ball joint, you have a grade 12 hardware nut. It's usually like a flange nut that has, you know, that's gonna provide really nice clamping power on that. Um, you have an easy snap cotter pin, and then it comes with a Zerk fitting. So you have everything you need. Um, the easy snap cotter pin, you don't have to fight with your pliers or anything like that anymore. It just takes two seconds to install. So. Nice, excellent. So TTX includes those in the box. Um, anytime there's a tool required, we include it in the box. And sometimes that can be up to a $70 value, um, just in the box that uh, already, already comes with ball joints. So it always comes with everything you need to do the job correctly.